What's up guys? Today we're doing a shave with Bear Stern Man's Paganini's Violin. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome to the Latherhog channel where we talk about all things wet shaving. I'm your host, John, and today we're doing a shave with a soap that surprisingly showed up in my den, and that is Bear Stern Man's Paganini's Violin. This tub was sent to me by a good friend uh, after he recommended it to me that Paganini's violin just had an incredible scent, one of his favorite in the wild, and he managed to track down a tub that was available and sent it my way. So a big thanks to him. Uh, today's shave wouldn't be possible without this gift. Now I'll go into a little bit more about what the Soft Heart series from Barrister and Man is all about, but let me show you what gear we're going to use today. So first up for my razor, we're going to go with the Charcoal Goods Level 2 with the Magnum handle. I have almost three days worth of beard growth, so I want something a little bit more efficient, and this guy's loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Next up for my brush is another new addition to my den. This arrived earlier this week, and that is this beautiful brush from Dogwood Handcrafts. So Dogwood Handcrafts is really known for this hybrid style, uh, using burl for the wood portion, and then um, almost like a spacescape with the resin uh, in the bottom half. So an absolutely gorgeous brush. I just love purple brushes. And the knot also is a Decoration Grooming B8. So the brush knot here is 28 millimeters, very dense, very plush. Uh, I think this is gonna be a great shave with this guy. And lastly, for the post shave, we're keeping things real simple with Bear Stern Man Unscented Aftershave Balm. And the main reason for going with this, besides being just an excellent balm, is that I just want to enjoy the scent today is the main reason why it was sent to me. In fact, I should mention that I was on the fence. Uh, I was there on the website when the scent dropped and I was a fool, didn't hit that buy button and then immediately regretted it after I started hearing how wonderful the scent was. So taking a sniff off the tub, this is probably right in the middle, I mean a five out of 10 as far as scent strength off the tub. And it's a very clean, uh, slightly sweet, slightly floral scent. I feel like there's a lot of subtle notes going on here and I really can't wait to see how this scent kind of comes alive uh, once we start lathering. All right, so you can see I've applied the pre-lather uh, as a pre-shave. We got about a 25 second load here with the brush. And let's go into the face lather. So for those unfamiliar with Barrister and Man's Soft Heart series, these are small drops, you know, I think probably under 100 soaps. And it's a way for uh, Will over at Barrister and Man to experiment with different scents. I've picked up one other soft heart release called Amazel Nut. Absolutely love it. I don't think I've done a video with it, but it's an excellent fall winter scent. So you can definitely expect me to use that uh, in the upcoming shave probably in, in a month or so. The base that he uses for the soft heart series is also different from the main line. It is called PP8 and it was one of the contenders for the most recent update, which might have been already like a year ago. Barrister and Man's current soap base as of this recording is called Excelsior. And the main reason PP8 wasn't chosen was it's a softer soap and we'll want to offer, to make sure to offer um, good value because softer soap tends to get eaten up more quickly. So he went with the firmer soap that I guess in practice, offers more shaves per tub than this one would. Now personally, while I enjoy both, I actually like the PP8 soap base better than Excelsior, but that's really no dig on Excelsior. I like that base just fine. All right, so here we go with the Charcoal Goods Level 2. Again, we're working with about almost three days worth of beard growth here. Now, a little bit about the scent on Paganini's violin. In the official description, it 
talks about notes of fruit and black tea, which I do get both, but also a clean, kind of fresh out of the shower skin scent. And I will say when I first read, read the description, that part kind of threw me a little off. But in lathering this up, I think the intention, or my, my guess at it at least, is that it does the whole fresh and clean kind of thing. But what makes it a skin scent, I think, is kind of a subtle, subtle use of musk. Which I think, you know, I think that's probably a, a really creative way to get that. I guess that human, <laughs> that human element into the scent itself. Or rather, not just a straightforward, clean, like, you know, lavender, soapy um, kind of vibe. I think further, you know, effects from that uh, European Soap Week two weeks ago was just appreciating scents that are really well crafted, but not blaringly loud or in your face. And this one definitely falls in that category. I think in the mix, there's also a floral component. Nothing, you know, nothing that stands out super loud, just kind of hanging out in the background. I think that floralness kind of adds partially to the clean vibe. Um, black tea or tea scents in general, I think ha they often have, you know, like a floral, uh, sometimes a woody component to it, depending on what kind of tea it is. Really enjoyable scent though. I will if you are watching this video, and I'll, I'll probably message you this myself, is that this you know, Paganini's, viol Paganini's Violin deserves a wider release. I think a lot of people will like this one. It's not, it's unique, but it's not, like, it's not super out there as far as being a quote unquote weird or avant-garde scent. Yeah, I would say this is one I would chase with a matching aftershave and matching fragrance. It's that good. Now the other side to this that I'm thinking is this scent actually will be enjoyed by both men and women. There's nothing particularly masculine or fe feminine in this scent. I think it would just be enjoyed by uh, traditional shavers of either gender. All right, so here we go with the cleanup pass. I do think sometimes I'm a little heavy handed with this razor. It's got some great weight with the Magnum handle. I really don't need to apply too much pressure at all. Shave. Let's finish off with the unscented balm here. Don't need too much. All right, so excellent shave today. Absolutely love the scent, Pagmini's violin. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Again, like I said before, I really hope that this can make a mainline release. See it as a fragrance, maybe. It's that good. Also, the first go with the dogwood brush with the Decoration B8. Absolutely fantastic. 
I've kind of realized that um, while a lot of folks love those you know gel tips from Badgers, uh, I do think that that process is a little overdone sometimes to the point that the knot is slimy uh, when wet and then when it's dry, it's almost as if it has like old school hair gel in it and it's super spiky. For those familiar with Dragon Ball Z, the brush knots on overly gel tips often look like Goku in Super Saiyan form. This one, however, it's got the density, it's got the softness, but you know, not too much of the gel uh, you can see there. Actually, I don't know if there's any gel in it at all and I'm okay with that. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me for today's shave. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.